And in a major boost to India's defense exports, the Philippines has given a USD 374 million contract to Brahmos Airspace to supply shore-based anti-ship missiles for the country's navy. The Brahmos order is the first major military export by India. Other countries in Southeast Asia, including Vietnam and Indonesia, have also expressed their interest in buying the Brahmos from India. Now, Brahmos Airspace, an Indian-Russian joint venture, produces a supersonic cruise missile Brahmos that can be launched from submarines, ships, aircraft or from land platforms. What does this deal mean for India? What does it mean for Atmanir Bhar Bharat, for Make in India and especially what does it mean in context of a belligerent China which seems to be expanding really. It's, uh, it's, it, it, it seems to be expanding um, in the South China Sea. How are we to see these latest, latest developments? To discuss this in greater detail, I have a panel of experts. Uh, I have Ambassador Surendra Kumar, former ambassador who's joining us live on the broadcast. Uh, Professor Swaran Singh, he is a China expert and also an expert on foreign affairs. Uh, Venus Upadhyay, a South Asia expert and foreign policy expert. And we also have Patikrit Payne, strategic and international affairs expert. Also joining us, Major General A.K. Sivach, retired. He's, of course, now global strategic and defense expert. I'd like to thank all of you for joining us on NewsEc. Starting, uh, first of all, with you, Pratikrit Payne. When we speak about uh, Make in India, Atma Nirbhar Bharat, how does this deal impact? How big a boost is this deal for Make in India? Considering, as far as India is concerned, we had known to be importing arms and ammunition from other countries and not really selling uh, you know, uh, uh, our missiles to other countries. This is one of the first major export deal which India has tried. Uh, Minakshi, more than the quantum of the deal in terms of its value in dollars, uh, it is the kind of weapon system that is being exported that has a lot of relevance because it's a it's a supersonic uh, anti-ship cruise missile and it has a tremendous impact in terms of uh, Philippines, uh, who has uh, numerically it is far more inferior to China when it comes to the maritime capabilities, and it actually helps them into in terms of nullifying some of these superiority that China has. Hmm. The deal is probably around of 60 to 70 anti-ship cruise missiles which will be procured and that's that's a great uh, step forward i must also mention that couple of years back there was a deal for around 100 million dollars which lnt got from the vietnam border guards in terms of selling them uh, a high speed petrol vessel so some small amount of uh, you know things have been happening but over a you know if you look at, at the larger spectrum for for decades in spite of the capacity that india had uh, we were not exporting because we were our the entire defense industry was uh, monopolized by the public sector undertakings and they were absolutely not up to the mark let me make mm. it very clear yeah. but over the last few few years the the initiative that has been taken by prime minister modi led india government in terms of liberalizing the defense industry allowing the private sector to come in the private sector of india uh, given its proficiency in industrial engineering uh, if, if you see the automobile industry we are one of the largest manufacturers of two wheelers and four wheelers in the world we always had that potential but they were restricted uh, today, I think we are actually opening up the sector to that extent that over the next five years, you see major things will happen. I'll give you one example. Uh, there's a company called Garuda Airspace, Aerospace, which is right now exporting 8,000 drones to UAE, Panama and Malaysia. Those will be used for inspection for agriculture, for mapping activities. So these are small droplets, you might say, but there's a large array of companies which are coming up, uh, whether you talk about in the aerospace industry, whether it is uh, in the in the realm of making artilleries or drones or fighter planes, which in the next half a decade or a little more than that will make up, will not only help India to reduce its import uh, dependence, but also will make sure that export of defense will become a very critical part of the entire export basket that we have. Hmm. And you From know, also Okay. Point, yeah, also point. from the okay, yeah, go ahead. also from the perspective of making sure that you know Philippines is one of the very few countries which have taken a strong stand against China against Ch in the yes. in the entire uh, South China Sea. Hmm. In the Whitsun Reef, they have been facing se severe incursions through the uh, Chinese Meritium militia. There has been 287 boats which have been stationed there. So from that perspective, the nu numerical uh, inferiority that they have gets nullified. And it's very good to see that they are depending on India. And it's I must congratulate the government that they have taken this bold step forward in selling this very strategic yes. 
weapon system to Philippines. Hopefully, in the future, we would also see Vietnam being given this. And I would be well, yes, very, and, very and happy can if India, someday. Can India capture the South Asian uh, yeah, market? Minakshi, and of course, one, just so I'll, I'll come point. back to you. And since you know, we we will be discussing China in detail as well. Let's let's go. You know, focus one by one. And when we are speaking of Make in India, and what a big boost it is for Make in India. Uh, you know, Ambassador Surendra Kumar, sir, if you could just come in here. Um, when we look at India's exports. in the defense sectors they had been abysmally low till 2016 17 uh, our exports were about till uh, 1500 crore dollars and this time by 2020 21 you had you know the exports in the defense sector increase and reach up to over 8000 uh, crore dollars and now when you have such a phenomenal deal such a big deal uh, with a country like philippines which is of course Uh, you know uh, uh, is 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 speaking out against china very vociferously what does it mean when we speak of the uh, defense export market for india possible it's a long route yes but possible that eventually when we speak of the south asian defense export market can india be the leader at least on that front of course uh, barring uh, russia well, let us let us welcome what has happened it is big ne and we have ambition of exporting up to 15 billion dollar worth let's see how things are but it is major development we should welcome it will not see only in terms of only one only export angle there so many symbolic messaging here one is underlining the indian russian defense cooperation over last 10 years us has exported goods worth 22 billion dollars hmm. but if you talk to transport technology Americans are most reluctant to transfer technology. Yeah. Russia is the only country which has transferred. You know, Brahmos have come here where there is transfer technology is being produced in India because Russia agreed to that. So there is a collaboration is underlining. Then mm. come messaging you talk of China. Yes, China if they can come and really makes uh, thing difficult for us come to Sri Lanka, but not that or go to Gwada or come to our surrounding pearls. But the fact is we are going to there. in we are telling south china sea yes we can also have cooperate now in philippines whether how much defense protection they will get against china that is for philippines minister because they had as you know 2016 there one case against china for the world arbitration but what happened chinese have maybe not accepted so mm -hmm. but fact is that this will encourage other countries we are dependable we have world's best technology this this, this brahmos is yeah. the fastest uh, supersonic cruise missile Hmm. we must complement other companies which will come forward fact is also messaging about lukis policy active policy against china hmm. against our neighbors there is a messaging there at the same time certain boost to our indian export ambitions hmm. i'm sure it will spur others also you talk about previous speaker i agree with whatever he has said but fact the man look brahmo there is no there is no private industry involved here this government to government collaboration this started as the such Yeah. Good 1998. And this is also symbolic in defense field. This is a continuum. It is started of 1998. How many NDA government came, UP government came, NDA government came. This means the government will come. Government will go on science. It will go on working. And the leadership has maintained this momentum. Hmm. And this heartening that this is I come to reach stage where we are exporting. Hmm. I welcome it. I congratulate the government of the day. They have gone ahead with this, and I. I really foresee that the future will get many more orders. It will really give some kind of message well, to China. Well, absolutely, and then and then so when we speak about the messaging. For China and Major General Lake, so much help us understand. Considering, of course, so you understand the defence sector more than anyone else here. What really is the advantage which the Brahmos missile gives countries like Philippines and even India when it comes to countering a belligerent China, sir? See, as for Minakshi, as far as China is concerned, it is a very important weapon. You know, we have about fourteen thousand today Brahmos, and they are deployed uh, on the land as far as line of control and line of actual control are concerned. And also, they can be deployed on Sukhoi thirty MKI. And uh, not only that, it has a range of three hundred kilometer. We have now extended the range of almost up till five fifty to six hundred kilometer. Now, this can be placed on an aircraft. Sukhoi uh, 30 MKI and can go deep inside the China and hit the air bases. The China is really worried about that. This cruise missile has got two, three distinct advantages. One is it is the fastest cruise missile in the world. It is also uh, goes at the tree top, very difficult to detect. 
and the rate of it hitting the target is more than 95 percent so it's a very potent weapon and this has really shaken up china as far as the line of actual control is concerned and it can carry a nuclear war head so therefore this is a very potent weapon which which we have and uh, both pakistan and chinese understand this hmm. now three four things stand out very categorically no this is not only you are going to be deployed on the land as well as on, on by air it can be also on ship as well as submarine we have got a indian indian ocean and indo pacific where the chinese submarines are going we have already deployed bromos there in the submarine yeah. this has got a capability of hitting any target even in the sea and the point is our even uh, island territory and also our sea lines of communication are protected by bromos hmm. my point is uh, minakshi i want to tell that this is not the only weapon we have got uh, about 10 uh, weapon in our basket which are ready to be exported one is the nag anti tank missile akash anti air uh, missile which is there then we have got dhanus artillery guns yeah. then we have got akash uh, uh, then we have got tejas mark 1 yes. sca which are to be given second thing is what is important is point came is that whenever we are now taking some weapon from other country hmm. we are getting the tra transfer of technology for example m777 ultra light howitzer we hmm. took from america it uh, the technology transfer took place and yes. now it was manufactured by mahindra defense and same way we took k9 vajra self propelled gun from korea now this has been manufactured by lnt hmm. now these weapons when they will come here we will able to manufacture and, and also export so india the whole you know um, uh, thinking process has changed atam nirbhar bharat make and in india exactly it, it's really the shift in the thinking of the policy makers it really is a shift in the thinking of policy makers really which has uh, sort of completely changed the face of our defense sector from of course being uh, one of the biggest importers uh, to now bagging such big deals where, uh, when it comes to of course exporting uh, missiles and other arms and am ammunitions is concerned certainly uh, it is commendable as all, all of you also can see but professor swadan singh so you know uh, since you are an expert on china certainly this deal is going to antagonize china and it is a really bold and brave move uh, on the indian government side as well when you sell uh, such a big consignment of brahmos missile uh, to philippines uh, which is trying to counter china in the south china sea there is a big message for china going from the indian side as well isn't it yo audio yes. professor swaran singh can you hear me sir Thank yeah. you. Uh, I'm saying even if this uh, deal has implications for China, uh, I think it will be unwise to uh, look at this from only perspective of uh, China's uh, being either angry with it or being uh, upset with this deal. Certainly. This, this deal is part of the bigger transformation that uh, India is seeking over a period of time. Uh, you would know last year only, Prime Minister had given the target of 5 billion hmm. US dollars worth of investment uh, of exports uh, by 2025. Yeah. And you mentioned how in last seven years we have moved already up from 1900 crores to 800, uh, 8400 plus yes. crores of exports. And we are exporting to not just uh, Philippines, we are in an advanced uh, stage of negotiation with Indonesia. Defense Minister is likely to visit soon. Uh, Vietnam is another possible target of India's exports. Same missile is likely to go to even Saudi Arabia, South Africa. We are also exporting other missiles. We have also to be careful that this is not a missile that uh, is going to be same as indigenously produced. I understand this is the world's fastest cruise missile, scientific ship cruise missile right now. But the export, hmm. again, India is part of uh, uh, MTCR and therefore the export version is going to be different. Export version is going to be limited to less than 300 kilometers range. So in that sense, I think we have to look at is at part of India reorganizing itself. India has allowed, for example, private manufacturing 74%, uh, government to government 100% investments into defense sector. India has created a special office in uh, Department, of Recipro uh, Department of Defense Production yeah. to cater to India's export. So it's a part of a larger transformation of making India's defense industry self-sufficient, making it deliver to other countries technologies mm. that India is getting better at as part of manufacturing in India, making India, allowing foreign countries, uh, companies and governments to come and invest and, and manufacture in India. 
So it's part of a larger transformation of India. No, emerging. certainly, sir. It is a part of a larger transformation, but at the same time, th this move also helps us counter China, which has been needling us uh, on, of course, the LSE issue. But uh, yes, uh, you know, when you speak of really the larger context in Venus Upadhyaya, perhaps you could come in here. Uh, India, of course, from a large importer to on its way, small step, baby steps, but to becoming a large exporter. Uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, of course, has set a huge target. But now, with this order of Brahmo's missiles being taken by the Philippines and other countries like Vietnam and others showing interest, uh, you know, in similar deals with India, do you see India as eventually becoming one of the major players when it comes to exporting defence equipment, especially in the Southeast Asian region? Oh, yes. Um, I think if we keep uh, ourselves focused on our long-term goals, certainly we would be there. Um, I think it's about making India great. Um, it's about the future of power. Uh, the future of power in the region is all about sharing. It's all about uh, joint, uh, joint defense capacities. And I think this is the right time that um, India has made this move. India has decided to export its technology. And any nation kind of, you don't come to the point, uh, to this point of, to this capacity of being able to export your defense technology. You have to come to that point. It takes a lot of time. And I'm sure it's a, it's a welcoming step. It's about making India okay. great. Right, but you know, certainly it is a welcome step, but Patikat Payan, uh, when you speak of other countries, you, you know, you all very rightly pointed out that US is very reluctant to uh, give its technology. Uh, when we buy S-400s uh, from Russia, uh, that upsets US, no sanctions imposed, but of course, um, you know, buying equipment is, is quite tricky. If India does start to export, uh, uh, you know, large orders when it comes to defense equipment and even perhaps producing, uh, you know, uh, uh, arms, ammunitions, missiles, submarines, etc. within the country, certainly it will help us scuttle all these issues, isn't it? Well, uh, to a great extent, yes, because and that will uh, actually require developing a very vibrant military industrial complex and which with Prime Minister Modi is actually working on developing the defense industrial ecosystem within the country where we are not just making the finished products, but also very critical components and then eventually become part of the global supply chain. For example, companies like the Tata Aerospace are making very critical components of many of the uh, airframes and aerostructures of, uh, say, uh, you know, uh, uh, Lockheed Martin, even in case case of BrahMos uh, missile, you see very critical uh, sections or structures from design development to production of fire control systems, launches to aero structures are being made by Larson and Tubro, the same company which has been involved in India's uh, making the hull of the nuclear submarines. So over a period of time, as you become part of the global supply chain of critical yeah. uh, you know, military uh, components and products, uh, and you become, uh, you emerge as a key player, your dependence uh, actually comes down. And that has been one of the part of the policy of the governments make in India that even if we have to buy something from abroad, mm -hmm. uh, you that that foreign company, the OEM will have to have a joint venture with the Indian company, set up a manufacturing base here, produce the products from here, and then also produce spare parts here because spare parts has been a very major problem that Indian armed forces have faced in the past where you have the finished products, but you face a problem with the spare parts. For example, the Mirage 2000s that we bought quite a few decades back, we are buying old Mirage 2000s from Absolutely. France today just to keep just to keep the spare parts uh, uh, available yeah. because the production line in France has stopped. So but I, I want to make a larger point, yeah. uh, Minakshi, if you just give me two points. I'll be, number one, I'll be very happy if someday we take the, someday we take the step of delivering these weapon systems to countries like Taiwan also. Hmm. Number two, it is not something new. For example, if you look at the bulletproof jackets and vests and helmets, there is a company called M MKU. SMPP, Tata Advanced Systems, yes. they have been making these bulletproof jackets for Absolutely. 90 odd law enforcement agencies across the world and we were not taking it in the past. Hmm. We were importing. Today that has changed. The same companies which were producing for the rest of the world well, are being given yes, opportunity by no Modi doubt, government. Sir, there is no we doubt that there has, that. Been an, there has been an overall and certainly uh, it really is the efforts of the government which has yielded yes. uh, into uh, a phenomenal deal like this. But Mayor General A.K. Sivad, sir, you know, we cannot ign ignore the China aspect of it, isn't it, sir? Uh, it, the fact that India is providing Brahmo's missiles to Philippines, the fact that you have other Southeast Asian countries who are showing interest in buying these missiles and all these countries collectively uh, you know uh, 
have a, a bone to pick with China. China has been acting aggressively, uh, you know, trying to dominate and showing its assertiveness in the South China Sea, which has irked these countries. The fact that India is already, uh, you know, about to ink a deal as far as these Brahmos missiles are concerned with Philippines certainly has to be seen in the context of China, isn't it, sir? Absolutely. Kachi. As far as China is concerned, it is having a problem with South, in South China Sea, with Vietnam, with Indonesia, with uh, Laos, uh, with Malaysia. So, especially, you know, these all countries are now want to have a weapon system where they can challenge. Remember, Vietnam uh, uh, has won a case also, but the China is not ready to agree and implement that. See, China is a very aggressive country. It does not implement even the international uh, jurisdiction uh, verdict. So, yeah. therefore, these countries, those small, are now buying and arming themselves. Burmos is a game changer. Why it is a game changer? The point is that it is not $375 million, you know, deal. It is the, now, you will find India will be in one of those countries which can export the weapon system. I told you earlier also, Danos is the best RT system available in the world today. It is a, a better copy of a Beaufort. Then we have a Tejas Mark 1. We have got an uh, Akash uh, air missile. Then we have a NAG anti tank missile. Now, this aircraft carrier which we have made it, uh, basically Vikrant, has 76% indigenous component. And now, this two corridor which has been made by, by our uh, present government, one in South and one is in UP, is now going to manufacture n number of accessories. And I fully agree that we will become a part of a larger supply chain okay. in the world. And well, absolutely. India, is, India is on its way. India is on its way uh, to become uh, become a major player, really, when it comes to uh, supply chain of defence equipment, sir. But Ambassador Surendra Kumar, as a former diplomat, sir, certainly it shows India's changing stand as well, vis-à-vis -vis, uh, its neighbourhood policy. It is quite an aggressive stand. Uh, without saying anything, India has sent a clear message to China and a strong one. The fact that we provide Brahmos missiles to Philippines, uh, which sees China as an enemy nation, certainly is a big message to China and very unlike the previous regimes. India is not playing on the back foot. We are on the front foot this time around. Listen, the smart diplomacy is all about messaging. I said beginning itself. Yeah. You take one action, you send different messages. Now, I don't really get into this, uh, this kind of discussion with this regime, other regime. As I told earlier, sir, defense policy, diplomacy, there's a lot of continuum. You change with the new circumstances, new developments, and we make take whatever is coming, add something new. Now, China, let's face it, we have our own problem. For the last two years, LAC, we are faced with China. Two countries have each side is more than 50,000 soldiers outside. Your equipment is there, but we have not given an inch. We have not stepped back. Our constructions are going on, our infrastructure going on, supply of helipad, aircraft, missile, all that is what the messaging to China is look. Be a different okay. country. Hmm. The different hmm. is not nineteen sixty two. We will we are ready for long haul. We will hmm. face people. At the same time, we don't want a precipitate crisis. Let us okay. be realistic. All these countries which have disputed with China, all together, together, all put together, no, we, they can... Certainly, we don't want a crisis, sir. We don't want a crisis, but, you know, I'm reaching the fag end of the debate. And let me just take two quick uh, answers from the other guests who are remaining. Professor Swaran Swing, uh, you know, as a China expert, quickly, you could, if you could tell us, uh, I think Patikrit Payne had earlier spoken of uh, India even thinking of providing uh, or, or selling a defence equipment to Taiwan. Uh, a po possible something, uh, you know, do you see it as a possibility in the future? So, can you unmute yourself? All right, let me take the last question then to Venus Upadhyay. We seem to be having some technical trouble there. Venus Upadhyay, as far as China is concerned, a strong message to China, perhaps providing uh, missiles to Taiwan in the future, uh, a possibility, do you see, or, 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 or do you see uh, that that is something which India would tread very carefully on? Uh, that That's surely um, India-Taiwan relationship would certainly be a uh, the improvement in that relationship would be certainly a um, very strong message to China. So um, at this point of time, I do not know whether it's right to say that India will be selling its defense equipment to Taiwan, but keeping in mind that greater technological uh, exchange between the two countries would certainly pave a way for 
um, for more future cooperation. But I think the, the very important point here is that we have to understand that Ramos uh, makes the, uh, the Chinese islands in the South China Sea uh, you know, it, the, the, it brings it within its uh, within its range. So I think that itself is a very big message uh, to the Chinese, and the future is about uh, joint defense capacities. So but when absolutely. we are selling, the future is about joint defense capacities, and certainly a very strong message to China. China, which bullies its neighbor, be it on land or be it in South China Sea, very strong message coming from India's side. But certainly, we have to see this development in a larger context. It's a major boost to India's defense export, huge push to Atmanir Bharat and make in India in the future. Where does it take us? Is India going to become a leading player when it comes to export of defense equipment? We'll have to wait and watch. Certainly, we are. On that route, we are on the way. For now, thank you to all our experts for joining us with their opinions on this telecast. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.